everyone and welcome to another review on my channel. My name is Anar, and in today's video we're doing another review. We're doing a review of Pokemon Blazed Glazed. Now Pokemon Blazed Glazed is actually a ROM hack of a ROM hack because before there was Blazed Glazed there was actually Pokemon Glazed and Pokemon Glazed is another ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red. Pokemon Glazed is actually considered one of the best Pokemon ROM hacks that was ever made. But someone uh, actually just went to ROM hack of Glazed, he played it all the way through and he was like yo that's a great ROM hack, amazing even, but I think I can make it even better. And then there was Pokemon Blazed Glazed. Blazed Glazed is a pretty damn long ROM hack. The game consists of three regions, like 20 gyms, and uh, two elite force, and a couple of champions as well. So you're gonna have a blast of a time playing this game either, either casually or on a Nuzlocke version. Now getting on with the difficulty of this game. Now, I personally feel like they got the difficulty completely down. They start off nice and easy. Not that difficult, even though you definitely notice that they put some time into the movesets and levels. And later on, uh, around the third or fourth gym, you're definitely going to be experiencing some difficulties. And you're actually, and you're actually going to have to think about what you do. The difference with Pokemon Glazed here is that around the third or fourth gym, uh, in the original glaze you're gonna notice that the game hits a bit of a plateau and the games become a bit easy But in Pokemon blaze glaze they definitely saw that and they changed it a lot You're actually going to be challenged throughout the entire first region with every single gym And you really notice that the levels ramp up real fast and without some proper grinding and some proper thinking about your Pokemon You're not going to have a very easy time with this game which I personally enjoy very very much because I like to be tested on the games I play now getting into the story of this game now bear with me for a second a disclaimer here this game has a very very big story very long story I'll try to get into the depth of it at the end but I'm gonna go over uh, the whole story as quick as possible right now uh, so you guys have an idea what the game is all about so you basically start in a different way world which is all spooky you get teleported to your room then but the other world is gonna play a big part in the story later and then it just starts off as any other pokemon game you get your it's your birthday you get to choose your starter who in this case are chimchar puplip piplup excuse me turtwig Riolu, and shinx you just like any other pokemon game go outside and get a very early encounter with the bad team of this game who in this case is team fusion you get to know a bit about their goals uh, which is you know like a lot of other teams just catching legendary pokemon uh, to eventually actually get mew uh, on their side and then get world domination even though the story is very in-depth and interesting for the most part and that can really keep you to the game, I got to say the ending is kind of anticlimactic. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's basically just Mew goes like, "All right, I don't want to be with your guys," and Team Fusion just like, "Well, fuck it, we lost," and then they go and do other stuff. So I don't know how I feel about the story, but the post game and the rest of the story more than makes up for it in my opinion although the ending of the normal story is a bit anticlimactic in my opinion talking about the post game this has got to be one of the strongest post games in any pokemon game rom hack whatever anything pokemon this is such a strong post game it's pretty much just as long as the normal game uh, i would say you can actually go through the entire johto region which has apparently fallen apart because a volcano eruption came and destroyed a big part of it. So they had to rebuild a lot of stuff. Which is a good excuse for a new a lot of new stuff in the Johto region. Which you go through entirely with 8 new gyms. A new Elite 4. So many cool things are in Johto. And that brings us to the third region which is... Also part of the post game. Uh, the third region is like a pretty damn short region. But it's going to test you for real. You get introduced to Mega Evolution. You get four more gyms. And a real champion. Real elite for real tournament champion-ish thing. Which is pretty much the ending to 
the game and I love it so damn much. Now, how do I feel about the story? I think it's amazing. It's so deep. As I said, the ending is a bit anticlimactic, but for how much story they cram into this game and for how many ways you can think about it, it's honestly so good and I love the story of this game. Of this game. If you want to have a game with a good story, definitely this one is something you could look out for. Alright, now getting into the graphics of this game. And honestly, the graphics of this game are pretty damn good. There's nothing to really write home about, but honestly, everything feels like it flows over nicely into each other. And you can definitely see that they did put some time into designing this game. Everything looks very polished and you can see that the cities are easily explorable. You can just go through everything without uh, having to look at everything and being like, what is that, what is that, what is that? You can just go on. It's not too complicated, which I personally kind of like. But again, it's not the most, the, the best graphics you can possibly have. But again, it's third gen, so I'll give them a pass for that. And the graphics are definitely not the main attraction of this game, even though it is, in fact, very, very nice. And then that finally brings us to the conclusion. How did I personally feel about this game? Honestly, this game is amazing. It's great. I find it personally very impressive that they held such a high quality for three full regions. Such a long game. And there was never really a part where you're like, wow, they really dipped in quality here. Everything felt so good. Everything felt so nice. You can just notice quality throughout the entire game. You can just notice that the creators put a lot of time into every single step you take in this game. And honestly, if you are looking for a new Pokemon game to play, if it may be a ROM hack or just something in general, this game is like a must play. I even found myself enjoying it more than some of the regular Pokemon games. It's honestly one of the best ROM hacks you're ever going to find and I recommend it to everyone who wants to find a good challenge and just a good Pokemon game in general. As I said, the game is amazing and if I would had have to grade it, which I of course will since this is a review, I'd give it about a 9 out of 10 because honestly, everything works in this game. I would really recommend this to anyone and I would play it, play it again if I ever get the chance to. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're excited for more reviews. There are definitely coming once I play through more games. Definitely make sure to also leave feedback in the comments below so I know what to do better for the next review. And then I hope to see all of you guys in the next review that I will do. Bye-bye. <laughs>